What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play is the United States. And in this episode, we're going to witness the death of the Quebec Empire and another step forward in our campaign to secure the US continental landmass. So without further ado, let's crack on and take Fort Nashwag. So we've got a couple of armies that will need to be... They'll be kind of out of the action for a couple of turns just to refit and reorganize and be ready for the next offensive uh, which one offensive will be to the north against the Huron peoples but then another offensive I think has got to be up against the Dutch in South America potentially or no that doesn't actually that kind of doesn't work with our theme actually thinking about it I don't know I'll have a think but yes let's pick my more up to strength units. Keep them keep them together. Then my weaker units cluster them together. Skirmishes and everyone out on the flank. I'm not super keen to be fighting in the town. This is a great position for artillery though. And limber and fire. Okay, right. This, yeah, this is going to take take a bit of time. Let's re organize our line the long war the long run cavalry push up let's get everybody set up I mean, I'm speed, uh, speeding up time just because right now it's just a bunch of my guys running around. I mean, engage the general's bodyguard because he's exposed himself. Cross the air and go after the citizenry, keep my light cavalry pushing through their center. I think there's no time. Storm! There's no time for caution. Artillery engaged, the Mount of Pueblo Auxiliary to the back. Charge! Turn your light cavalry charge onto the tribal auxiliary. Here comes the third light horse, baby! Charge on! Charge on! Hacking down citizenry. Excellent. Enemy general has fallen. Push in the 23rd Regiment of Foot. 27. Ooh, friendly fire. Yep, they have been broken too. Nice. Excellent. There goes the last of the Quebec Empire. And as Yep, that's to be expected. 
Let's repair the government council. Let's reinforce the... Reinforce this army. And yeah, I think the, the objective now is to probably spend just a few turns uh, reconstituting my forces. I want to deploy another army north to push against Moose Factory and both of these at the same time. Um, it's tempting to go after these areas. I think the way to do it, though... Okay, right. So you you need to refit in Newfoundland. I'm going to leave a 6th rate Connecticut here to protect the port. And then these ships are going to go south and start raiding their ports. I think that's a very, very uh, US Navy way of operating. Oops, speed up time. But yeah, once we push forward and take out some of the other, t other enemies on the uh, continental US... Then we can turn our eyes to overseas conquests, such as Caribbean and uh, South America, and also obviously Agbituk in the north. So you there, well, you're my garrison army, you're just going to chill. You can go up to Quebec to support the, build, the building up of this force with my field marshal. Other than that, let's hit in 10. We'll let everybody continue strolling on. And let's give it another turn. Yeah, the Royal Navy is keeping the seas clear. I, that's something I'd like the US Navy to get involved in in future. But we need to keep booming our economy, because right now we're trading with the entire world. At some point, that's going to stop when we start fighting people, and so our trade income is going to go down way through the floor. So we want to be in a good position to start sucking that up. Hey, Prussia, you want machine tools. I'm going to do it, because you're actually in a bit of a bad spot, and I want to use you to try and offset Austria. Machine tools is quite a powerful technology. It's a good earner. Uh, a military alliance? No, sir. Okay, let's see how the world reacts to what we did. I think 27,000, a good amount of money. Okay, so firstly, let's go back to both of these armies that have been fighting and get them to replenish. And these new territories. Well, let's recruit a militia unit here. Although, yeah, militia units are a shade cheaper than the volunteer infantry. They're a lot cheaper than the auxiliaries. Yeah, militia is still the cheapest. Let's send them to go garrison Louisburg. Let's upgrade the Louisburg dock. So this navy can re can repair. Let's get a sloop constructed. Sixteen thousand. Right. So our road building initiative will. Continue. To enable the strategic mobility of my troops. There we go. Can't upgrade these because you're currently building dirt roads. 1300. Let's upgrade his farm in Florida. And someone has asked, what's this army here for? Ready to jump on New Orleans and also to kind of prevent them from breaking out in the south if they ever did decide to do that because the ai will do it at the drop of a hat they will they won't be bothered about um no oh, the diplomatic penalties they'll go nope you're the human player we're gonna get you okay so you guys yeah go back up to quebec you can't recruit the units i want actually you can recruit a long rifleman unit that's something Oh, no, no, I don't need a long rifleman. Silly me. Uh, you can get a foot artillery piece. Let's get building. 
everybody is oh, everybody's going quite well. You're going to get secular humanism. Going to cut religious unrest by a lot. Actually, that'd be quite useful in my Venice campaign. Hmm. Spanish ships are... <laughs> they're leaving my shores. I mean, yeah, the Dutch is going to be quite a good... Ooh! Did they buy it off the Barbary State? That's weird. That's real weird. Oh well. The Ottomans are being the Ottomans. You think about what the... Hmm. As things currently stand, the most logical jumping off point of attacking Britain, well not necessarily Britain, but attacking Europe would be landing in Morocco. Land in Morocco and then use that to push along the North African coast and sweep out all the pirates. There we go. Secular humanism. What a good thing. What a good thing we've done. Okay, you get up to Louisbourg. You guys can leave. Oh, I thought you could. Apparently not. New nation arises. Courland. Good stuff. Independence Hall in Philadelphia has been built. They're still quite unhappy. Let's build the National Academy. Don't think there's... The only way to really get that happiness is just to build. Dragoons. Because they have a bonus to garrison policing bonus so they are fed to be one unit it's largely most units seem to count as a single unit Ooh, a legion they seem to count as a single unit for the purposes of public order um but get but dragoon units plus some others count as effectively two units for one so they're, they're quite efficient at doing that i mean i could bring you guys over you're currently not doing anything Right, so. Your roads are all good. Okay, let's upgrade one big bad boy port. I mean, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna be pecking away at upgrading our empire for so long. So Newfoundland's got dirt roads. We don't really need to keep a watch on it like this. Any orders? Chips orders, Captain? The sloop can move the troops when we need to move them. You come down to Yorktown. Because if you move them, they'll only need to be shipped over to somewhere on Quebec. A mine. Was a mine the best thing we want? Ultimately, I might demolish Saratoga. We don't need you to be happy anymore. You are happy enough. <laughs> happy enough. Uh, 3,800. Let's get some investments in the farming community. I think for the most part we are good, but there's still a, f a couple that we need to jump on. There's a, a couple of mine upgrades we should get as well. But we can't, now that I've spent that money. Yep, you're replenishing well. There's no worries about upgrades here yet. So Spain's got that port. You get this one. Let's make this unprofitable. So then back in the US. So we've got the Legion, Provincial Scouts. I think we need to build a Naval College to be able to build US Marines. 
Continental Marines are all built up. Okay, not to worry about the Legion yet. 1,300. Is there really nothing that they can spend this money on? That's fine. Like I said, we were, we were always going to need to spend a bit of time. Oh, are you going to start trying to raid us? Yeah, but we were always going to need to spend a period of time to restructure and, re and replenish our armed forces after that Quebec attack. And then we're going to get ready to move on towards the hero. <laughs> Who are you to demand anything? No. Yeah, for a minute there, they they were waiting on it. I thought, what are they going to do? They're going to do something. So let's see. Everything's advancing quite well. Yeah, want to keep. I want to keep the momentum going about upgrading. I want to upgrade as much of my empire as we can, so that as we push out, we will. As we capture a new province, we we can sink a lot of money into getting that province up to the same standard as the rest of the empire, rather than it kind of advancing the same as everywhere else and not quite. Bring them into the fold and show them what it means to be part of the U.S. Empire. Election results. Cool. Let's have a look at that. Plus one happiness. No. Oh. Plus two management. Okay, so you're generally quite good. Plus one management. Plus one. Plus two management again. No one's got anything specific yet. Plus one treasury. Okay, so morally impaired balances out Bon Vivant, so he's effectively a four star. Are you. Wait. Okay, so he's four star in the treasury, but nowhere else. Plus one navy, plus one management, plus one management. Yeah, you're a good navy guy, Jarvis Endicott. If I sw switch you guys around. Let's see if I can get a better treasury. Treasury secretary. Thaddeus Moore. Yeah. Seems a bit... Seems, seems okay. 30,000. Let's keep our fort building going as we advance down the coast. No, let's not go mad. Let's, we're going to do upgrade one port per turn. We're going to keep the drumbeat going. Can you now leave? You can. Excellent. These people are going to advance up towards up through the wilderness. Okay, cobbled roads. Yes. You can garrison here. Under sail. The sixth rate can join the small fleet. On waiting further orders. You might and stay where you are for now. Forward. It's a bit of a floating reserve. Engineer school, state capital. So we're upgrading your roads. Let's upgrade cotton plantation here and the same here because you can can you ex you appear to have a border with charleston so you may be oh no it's a border with kentuck territory either way let's m produce more goods for the wider market okay, let's get some of these mine upgrades going because i think they might Actually, no, there's I think actually that might be their last upgrade, really. I oh, know, yeah, steam engine. Industrial industrial mining complexes, if they can build them, will start to pop up.
Let's get Weaver's Cottage built. So yeah, you're on the way over. Let's get some more firepower. What do I want to do with you? You may end up going towards Yankton to take out the Black Hills people so you can gobble up this part of the continent and start to look south towards uh, Texas. But then once we've got most of the most of the continent, we then have to attack France to take New Orleans and then they have no other colonies to take. Then the next logical step is to attack Britain to take Agvictuk and then start to secure British possessions in the uh, Caribbean. I think that's going to be the best decision. We're about to get platoon firing. Then we can build the army staff college and build a lots of things or recruit lots of things. Let's keep it going. Oh, I forgot about you guys. Forgot about Huron. We'll chase them down at the start of this turn and we'll mop up a few of their units. Yeah, the do the Dutch own tuners? It looks like they might. So from a campaign perspective, going after South America is a no-brainer. Just go for it. It's a very wealthy region. You're at war with both of the armies. With both of the factions that hold territories there. It's a no-brainer. But I'm trying to play this as a bit more of a... More role-playing-y. Like, if that makes sense. As the US, we are more... You demand an alliance now. That's a lot of alliances for somebody who's only at war with the Dutch and the Swedish, but you know what? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. You are at war with the Dutch. We join you in that effort. And Sweden may provide a, in future a, a lucrative expansion opportunity for us if we were to advance into Europe. Oh, you only want socket bayonet fire by rank and reorganized procurement, and you're only going to give me selective breeding. No, ma'am. No, Olga. You're not going to get that from me. So because of the Swedish Navy, that Russian army, <laughs> that fleet, I was about to say, is stuck in the uh, Gulf, of, Gulf of Finland, I believe. But it doesn't matter. They're destroyed anyway. Platoon firing. Yeah, the Army Staff College being built. Uh, get you on to quickline. It'll take you a while, but that's okay. Bunch of farm upgrades. Okay, so what we can do... A bow... Uh, these are two bow units. Okay, let's detach my... Cavalry forces. We have to fight them manually, because otherwise... They're going to... We're going to take way too many casualties. not worried about our reinforcements we are just going to march see <laughs> as far as they're concerned they're like oh no this is okay this is fine this is fine hold <laughs> yeah We haven't taken a single casualty yet. <laughs> well, and now we have. Taken one. Curacier trooper has come out of the saddle. Yeah, then we're going to do the same again with another bow unit. 
Why did you count as... Ugh. I mean, I might... Okay, we've done it once. Yeah, we lost a load more guys autoing it, but you, you know what? We've done it once. We can afford to replenish them. As you continue to push up into the right position... Right. Port upgrades. I, mean, I might just get to grab both of these because they're both the cheaper upgrades. Let's recruit a third rate to join our fleet. Upgrade the Weaver's Cottage. Dusty Librarian. Anthony Wayne, Superior General and an aide camp. Excellent. Well, he's 85. He is not going to be here for very long. This may well be his last campaign. Oh, that's very handy. So one of their units is stuck in the city, so this army will not get involved until we've captured the city. So if we do this properly, we can knock them out in one fell swoop. Okay, I may actually now move you guys out of the city. So we don't need any legion yet. What do you need? Good cavalry forces. I think generally. Let's go for go for some 24 pounders. Let's power you up. In terms of other upgrades, let's get an upgrade for the for our uh, army board. I'm only not moving on the French just because right now things are fine and they're allied with a bunch of people, and it's like, yeah, you know what? We don't want to. We're going. We're going to bite off our wars in manageable chunks. Especially if the Huron are determined to keep sending out individual bow units to try and raid when we're right here. Ooh, yep, so Spain's going to invade um, South America, which is fine. Eventually we will be at war with Spain. Unless the Dutch go wipe them out, which I don't think they're going to do. Yeah, you're very determined. No. Although they are carving out a bit of a North African empire for themselves. Yeah, strong Austria. Yeah, they've taken Algiers as well from the Barbary States. If they take, um, if they take Tripoli from the Barbary States, ironically, they will destroy. They will get rid of the uh, Barbary States as colony in the Americas. Uh, no alliance, no. We're going to do this properly. Incrementally and powerfully. Will Russia be able to break out of the Gulf? Yeah, that army was originally going to go by go by sea, but not anymore, because Sweden knocked them out. Finland is under siege. No. Once with only one unit, it's not surprising that they've been pushed back. Lots of good road upgrades. Saratoga. Okay, right. These are, uh, these are going to be the more expensive port upgrades. Let's 
12,000. Oh yeah, because you've got the new, uh, a new farm technology now, so we can upgrade a lot of farms. But let's get some more of our, some of our more expensive upgrades out of the way. Two thousand five hundred. Get another third rate. Slowly start the naval build up. Let's go gobble up. To be honest, we're going to gobble up this um, warband, and then we, we, we we're going to probably push towards their territory. Push towards them. Same again. Oh, and my general's here as well. Bring it. Just bring the general in. This one might be the last action he's involved in, or he might even die in this engagement. <laughs> oh, good. I'm gonna continue. I do not trust it when. I do not trust shattered units never come back. Like I've heard. I know they definitely don't re enter the battlefield again. But I've heard from some people they, they count as disappearing on the campaign map, and I've always been a bit skeptical. So I'm sure in the past I have tested it, and it hasn't worked. There we go. No casualties, an entire unit destroyed. Let's cross into their land. Just to try and provoke them a little bit. Keep on advancing. You're waiting for artillery upgrades. And then when they're they done, you're going to head towards Plains Nations. As long as, well, I mean, even if they are, do have alliances. Nope, nobody. They're definitely going to be taken out. All the good metal working upgrades. Just lots of really good upgrades in general, especially ones that do not require further development. That's pretty nice. Seeing, but unseen. There we go. We were wondering where their proper army was. We knew there was going to be one around somewhere. Now, now we've moved them, moved our armies into their territory. They've had to respond and show their hand. I think Russia's taken Sarajevo. It's a bit of a weird campaigning direction. They must have access through Austrian lands, maybe, to make that happen. Oh, Belgrade, sorry. Get my, get, I guess some of my Balkan cities mixed up. But apart from that... Apart from that, everything seems okay. 14 grand for socket bayonet and fire by rank. Yes, because at some point they're going to get so they're going to get fireway rank. They just they just are going to get it. We've had it for a while. Russia having it doesn't change our strategic balance because we're not involved in Europe yet anyway. So why not make a bit of cash? And when th when we do need to start dealing with Russians that can fly by rank, they will probably have researched it anyway by the time we start fighting them. So we may as well earn a bit of money on the way out. Austria has broken their alliance with Mexico. Ooh, see if Austria goes for Mexico, we'll have to we'll have to enter the war to protect them. Okay, global trading company. Make sure all our roads are up to spec. 
Which I'm pretty sure they are by now. Yeah, yours are now being upgraded. Upgrading you. Yeah, once we start researching steam engines, we're going to have a whole bunch of things we can upgrade again. And that's going to be a bit crazy. We don't have to worry about upgrading your happiness building yet. You're 100% Protestant, so we can get rid of the church school now. It makes them happy because they're Protestants, but... Yeah, they, they, they like us enough, that's not a problem. And you're going to push up towards Montreal. Convert them. Quebec needs a bit of finishing off. Ooh. Austria. Oh no, you didn't. That's the reason why. Well, yeah, then we're going to fight Austria. In which case then, boost the navy. Let's take some of these smaller ships out. Awaiting further orders. Where to, Captain? Boost that navy. Fleet ready. Britain took Cayenne. Okay, recall, recall the fleet. Orders. If you want to get involved in all this nonsense, you are welcome. Ready and waiting. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, sir. Colorado. You're Chief the flag. Scotland. Keith Nelson. Orders. And Renard Carlson. Yeah, they're bolstering their fleet with some heavier uh, ships. Oh, damn it, Austria. I'll try to buy it off them. In order to avoid war. But if that doesn't work, we may end up threatening them. And then having to invade and take it back. Okay, let... Be something like that. 6,900. You don't need a theatre. Although... If I were to upgrade that town, let's let's keep it going for now. I'll, I'll upgrade the farm. Ah, oh, that sucks. In fact, I may end up deploying you over here, ready to reinforce. Because that's a. Although we don't really need to, just thinking. But you've got your artillery. 6,400 is its a lot of money to be left over with at the end. Okay. In which case, then I'll buy another slab-sided killer of the fleet. There we go. More second rates. Because if we're going to start fighting Austria, um, we are going to want to... We're going to want to uh, keep them... At least keep them away from us. Yeah, Britain's already got heavy bursts. Yeah. Keep investing in our... Navies, hello. They're feeling more confident now. Britain's going to invade Iceland, and Britain's taken it. Yeah, Britain's getting very, very powerful. Nope. No territory. Not getting anything from me, no sir. you demanding I pay you? No. Calvin Wilson doesn't pay 
pay for friends. You come and grovel and ask for them. God damn it, don't you know who we are? We own the most of our continent. I mean, I know the Marathas own theirs too, but... Yes, we need to build... Build up the US Navy. To be ready. Because we can attack Austria, and that then we'll... Well, I mean, we'll take their territory off them and see if they can make peace. See if we'll be able to make peace with them. We've got citizenship. Now it's straight on to the abolition of slavery. Forward! For crown and country! Austria, regions. Demand Rupert's land. I'll offer you 20 grand. And I'll offer you citizenship you know that's a good that was a good offer for moose factory sir your orders that was a good offer in which case then though i think we're going to end up going on the offensive against the sir Plains Nations peoples, let's go not Plains Nations, the Huron, let's go east and then smash into this army west bring in their reinforcements and then start squashing them back towards the last city then we will march north and grab Rupert Factory Rupert's Factory So they have a army, a, a reinforcing unit of bowmen coming in, which we aren't particularly bothered about. Anthony Wayne, in his older years, is getting more, uh, getting more aggressive, and he is holding himself back less as a commander. That's a bit too wonky that way. Something like that. It's good. Smart move, Bowman. You're moving back to rejoin your comrades. Very smart move. How it's just can't engage the Chief's bodyguard. They, their units are disappearing as the end of the map. 13th Regiment is getting smashed by my own artillery. <laughs> Let's just limber them up. Falling back through the trees. Call them with some volleys. Send in the cavalry toward the chief. Reckless Anthony Wayne's going in. How about you? Hey, 
Hello. Advance. These men are going to be very physically fit. Rangers are popping off shots. Don't want that to happen, really. Send these guys after the garrison native bowmen because that's one of their captains is in there. are going to be turned back. Killed the enemy enemy commander. Cavalry position ready to deal with any routing troops. 17th Regiment can give them a volley. Fair. The warriors getting gunned down at point blank range, creeping through the brush. Engage them. Hey, you came back. That's unfair. All of you go to town on those units. Pull you guys back. Charge! Excellent, you fools. Everybody except the cuirassier, just withdraw. Actually, you come over here and help this unit. Okay, you guys, general, go after the native American warriors there. Everybody else. Not everybody else, but... Everybody going after this poor Native American warrior unit. Be sure your units are ungrouped. Otherwise they'll pathfind really weirdly. Slaughter them. The dogs. Excellent. Decisive victory, always what you want to see. Dead. Pushed back. And forward. Advance. By the left. March. Replenish. Because, <laughs> yeah, we're going to go through a couple of actions like that. Don't worry, Rupert's Land will get you. That's for darn sure. Okay, now we're at a point where I physically cannot spend enough money. 
I cannot spend all my money and empty my treasury, which is pretty nice. Mohawk. Oh, have you grown? I think you... No, you... No, you were a church school, weren't you? Yes, you were. Excellent. Oh, you know what? No, let's not upgrade that. That's a bit pointless. Orders! Okay. So I've been asked before about the differences between the steam dry dock and the naval hospital, and why would you ever pick the naval hospital? Well, the main thing is... You can only have to re research lime juice and sauerkraut, which is, like, here? It's really quite quick to get to. Whereas steam dry dock, you need to have steam engine, which means you have to have machine tools, which means you have to have wealth of nations. There's a lot more steps into getting a steam dry dock than there are getting a naval hospital. And another aspect of it is that the steam dry dock increases unhappiness from industrialization, which may be a factor... And whereas the naval hospital just actually actually it provides um, <laughs> research points for to put in for military tech, and for the most part, naval hospitals are fine because you get access to all of the heaviest heaviest rate ships of the line. The only thing they don't get, I believe, from steam from steam dry dock are steamships, which are still fun, no doubt, but you know. For the most part, rushing to get the heaviest ships possible, you know, earlier on is quite uh, quite enticing. So there is a reason to go for naval hospital. It just means you get access to better ships sooner, effectively. Um, maybe not where compared to getting steamships, which ultimately I never really build. Steamships are, are great, but in this game, an empire. Uh, First trade ships of the line are really quite good. I mean, I might build a steamship fleet just to see what it's like. But yes, right now... Orders. We're actually at a point where I could Ready maybe... Action. Take my second rate ship of the line acute. Ready and waiting. Actually, no. Yeah, no. Keep Aye, building up sir. one fleet. That's fine. We don't need to go crazy with what we're doing. Yeah, let's stand up a new army. Well, actually, what we want to do is get some walls around some of our coastal cities in case they get attacked. And the same with Quebec in future. <laughs> Lots of here on troops. There's a Royal Navy stack shifting around. The Dutch are incre improving their blockade. You know what? We could start getting into the trade business. Let's start. Yeah, let's start doing some of that. start building some trade fleets. I think we can, we can recruit privateers, but there's a limit to those. Uh, no. That's a bad trade. Seed planting drill. I mean, I'm not going to give you a technology that's very accessible to me at the moment. Forty-five thousand a rake in New France. Let's send you up to Agvictuk to keep an eye on what's going on up there. Great port. Here we go. There's a couple of these uh a couple of these five thousand dollar port upgrades that have now come back. You're still not growing. Until we get selective breeding, a bunch of our farms can't be upgraded, but that's okay. And artillery is slowly catching up. Your 
humble. No, so I am in a position them. just to go right. Attack you. They are trapped. The swine. Ready for orders. Die. Maintain the siege. More orders. Get you up within Seven. range to reinforce. Send my rake on up to Moose Factory. Settlement under siege. And then attack the Yarn capital. But looking at the timer, I think it's probably quite a good place to stop. Then we'll destroy yet another faction. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the destruction of the Huron to the north. Cheers, everyone.